I'm an architect practicing from Delhi. At the moment, concentrating all our creative energies on finding solutions for affordable housing that is also environmentally sustainable in the long run. That's the mission that we are on. And I'm happy to say that yes, there are solutions which make it possible for people in cities to own land, to own homes, even if your incomes are as low as 10, 12,000 rupees a month for the household. To have a small home with security, dignity, and with environmental security. Assured water supply, assured electricity, taking care of waste, and making our environment green. That is a possibility for everyone today. So nowadays, uh, more, uh, more than uh, uh, buildings, uh, of buildings. It's coming. Oh, coming. Some few years ago, maybe 10 or 15 years ago, when Dubai was developing very fast, the investors in Dubai started building skyscrapers which are built in the same way as they were being built in the United States or in parts of Europe, using steel and glass as the main materials of construction. It was a symbol of modern life, it was a symbol of progress. But that was 20 years ago. The world has moved on and it has discovered that to build buildings with too much glass, more than you really require for any purpose, certainly not for lighting or for you, is to make a solar cooker. How does a solar cooker work? It lets in a lot of solar energy, solar rays, sun rays, through the glass into its box. And these rays, this heat, then cannot escape from the glass. So inside the solar cooker, the temperature rises very high. You can cook rice, you can cook potatoes, you can cook dal, you can cook whatever you like. It's so hot. So you make a solar cooker first. That's what these glass buildings try to do. And then after that, they say, oh, but actually what we were looking for was something more like a refrigerator. And they try to make it into a refrigerator. So in pursuit of fashion, they are costing us twice over. First using very expensive technology and letting in too much heat into the building and then trying to cool it with very expensive technology at gross energy expenditure to make the insides comfortable. Totally wrong in every sense of the word and other solutions are beautiful, elegant. Now you look across the world, full across the globe, what are people doing? The best innovators have found other ways of making buildings the glass is used very carefully, very sparingly, only to let in and distribute daylight in a comfortable way. And they keep the heat out by using shading systems. That's the new technology. Actually, what we should be thinking about is an architecture not of 20 years ago, but of 20 years that are yet to come. That's what we should be thinking about. How then are going to justify this green affordable housing? In sense, it is only on cost base or on utility base? It is affordable, first of all, I must insist, on a cost basis. It's a complete misrepresentation of the notion of green. To say, green is only for those who are wealthy. Green, that is for the wealthy, is talking about making the five-star hotel green. But green, that is for a simple life, is actually very affordable. It As I showed you... It's only to optimize the natural resources. It is to optimize the natural resources. Natural resources. Designed so that your house does not get too hot. Give it some shade outside the window. Don't make the window face east or west where the sun can come in. Put some insulation on the roof of the house. Build the walls out of materials like that. Don't get in too much heat. There's some stupid idea that, you know, you can build with concrete everything very quickly. But you know what six-inch concrete wall does? 
It is the fastest way of transmitting heat from the outside to the inside through a wall. It's a wrong way to go. Traditional methods, either using brick, clay blocks, flash blocks, lightweight concrete blocks, hollow blocks. There are many alternatives. Now there are these beautiful clay blocks which are hollow also. They are available. These are the materials that can be used for walling. Much better for indoor comfort, not more expensive. In fact, they are as the same cost as traditional construction. And they call, because they are more comfortable inside, it means that when the weather turns very hot and you feel like having an air conditioner, you can do it very little 